Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Devotions. I'm Pastor Tim Mason, the Associate Pastor here at Incarnation Lutheran Church, and I'm so glad to be with you tonight. Just a reminder that you can learn of all of our online activities and now things that are happening at our church by just going to our website, godamong.us, godamong.us, and learning about all the things that are now happening on campus. Um, tonight's devotional I've entitled, The World is Too Much. Um, sometimes the world is just too much. Sometimes there is just too much for us to handle all alone. I mean, there's work, there's school, responsibilities, bills, difficult relationships, unexpected illnesses, your pet is sick, future costs like college tuition or trying to save for retirement, yet the real possibility that some of us will never be able to retire. That's very stressful and very discouraging. Sometimes life seems like a mountain that we are forced to climb, but we think that we must do it alone. I got to do it my, 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 by myself. And the problem is that we are the last ones to realize that we don't have to go through all of this, this drama by ourselves. Because the truth is, we are not alone. But then, our ego steps in like it always does. Our ego is so powerful, it blinds us to our own unrealistic expectations, our weaknesses, and even our need for assistance. Realizing we don't have to go through life alone is actually a gift. But then we just listen to our egos and scream, damn the torpedoes, that's the daily emergencies, full speed ahead. That's uh, running with our blinders on. Our mind jumps around from one problem to another problem on top of another problem. And the entire time we are blind to what? The promise that Jesus keeps proclaiming to us. Jesus promised to be with us at all times and that he will never leave us. But our egos, our egos keep convincing us that we can do this alone, blindly, with all our limited capabilities, when through faith we can actually tap into an eternal source of hope and wisdom. With Jesus out of our worldview, our mind and even our heart grows blind and unsympathetic. All the while, Jesus is calling out our name. But we keep running forward, blinders and all, with our fingers in our ears yelling, blah, 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 I can't hear you. We if we desire, if we desire to fall off the cliff or we don't, think about the possibility of falling off a cliff, well, guess what? We're going to fall off a cliff. And yet, Jesus will be there waiting for us at the bottom of the cliff. However, when we do wake up, when we finally become aware of the power of faith over ego, when we repent and open our eyes and ears to the loving call of Jesus, only then will we begin to feel and experience the presence and peace of God. When we finally realize that we don't have to go through life alone, fighting our own fights, struggling to convince ourselves we're okay by ourselves, trying to prove to the world that, you know, we, I really do matter, only then will we realize Jesus will be with us to help us carry all of our problems and give us our real identity as children of God. No matter how big the problem that we have created can become. Circumstances may not change, but through faith and words of Jesus in the gospel, the presence of Jesus becomes clear and our load immediately becomes lighter. Our compulsion to fix everything goes away, or gives, gives away to a deep, joyful connection with God and following Jesus. It gives me a great deal of peace to know, for sure, that with Jesus, I don't have to face 
all the stuff life throws at me every day when I'm all alone. Walking with Jesus suddenly helps each day become brighter and more joyful. Um, I have two verses I'd like to read uh, from Isaiah 41, uh, chapter 41, verse 10 from the NIV. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. and With my righteous hand, that's the end. And then also because sometimes life really feels like a battle. I thought this verse from Zephaniah might be helpful. Um, and this is Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 17 from the New Revised Standard. The Lord, your God, is in your midst, a warrior who gives victory. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will renew you in his love. He will, he will exalt over you with loud singing. Let us pray. Have no fear, little flock. Have no fear, little flock. For the Father has chosen to give you the kingdom. Have no fear, little flock. This is most certainly true. Have a good evening, everybody. And uh, yeah, I know how life can be sometimes a huge mountain called drama. But we have a Savior that's with us and can carry us. Have a good evening. Sleep well.